So many of y'all might know I have a lot of metal filled and carbon fiber filled filaments. And unfortunately I can't use them on the bamboo printer because it doesn't have a hard to steel nozzle and the extruder is not hardened either. So it'll end up just wearing everything away over time and I don't want to have to deal with that. So bamboo finally released their hardened nozzle and extruder. So I was able to get some and I'm going to go ahead and install it. Unfortunately, I don't see anything on Bamboo's wiki that talks about replacing the extruder, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the um, uh, filament cutter here with one of the spares that came with the kit. First up, we're gonna have to remove the hot end. I already made a video on this, and it's pretty simple. It's located in my Bamboo Lab playlist, so you can check it out if you need to. Since I bought an entire new hot end assembly, I just need to replace the three wires up here with the corresponding wires on the new hot end. Each one of these connectors are different, so you shouldn't be able to mix them up. So in order to move the extruder, we have to remove a couple bolts. This one here, this one down there, the one behind this wire, as well as the connector itself, and we have to remove the bolts for this bracket up here that holds the PTFE tube in place. And be careful when you're removing this extruder because there's a spring right here that holds the filament cutter in place. So the bolts will be difficult to remove at first because they have a bit of Loctite on them. And make sure you don't lose any of these bolts because you will be reusing them. I forgot to mention that we need to remove this bolt right here to be able to take this filament cutter out. So after a bit of a struggle, I was able to remove the extruder. And we can see that there's a big difference between the two of them. This is the new steel extruder that I'll be replacing the stock one with. And for the most part, they're pretty much the same, minus the gears as well as the casing these two seem to be in. And just like that, I'm all set up to print abrasive materials like carbon fiber and metal filled filaments.